Hello, welcome to our second day reading the book Earthworms. We're going to read two more sections in our Earthworms book today. And today, in your assignment, you're going to focus on something new you learn in these two sections. You can either focus on one section or the other. Just focus on something new you learn. So at the end, you're going to work on drawing a picture and writing a sentence or two for me that tells me something new you learned. Okay? So today, we're going to talk about feeding. So how earthworms feed. Hmm. Let's take a look at that. It says, Earthworms feed on the rotting parts of dead plants. They have no teeth or jaws, so the food they eat has to be very soft. Sometimes they nibble food with their tiny lips, but usually they suck it up. Right here it says, worms also feed on soil. They use the good parts as the soil goes through their body, then they get rid of waste in a worm cast. Hmm. So that's what their poo is called, a worm cast. And this picture right here is a close-up picture of what that looks like. Hmm. All right, let's go to the next page. It says, in the daytime, worms usually stay under the soil and feed on the roots of dead plants. Hmm. At night, when it's dark and damp, they crawl up to the surface and search for dead leaves. They drag the leaves under the ground. Ooh, that would be something new I would write down that I learned. I did not know worms drag dead leaves under the ground. I didn't know that. Right here is the caption for this picture. A pile of dead leaves is a favorite feeding place for worms. Sometimes they store the leaves in their tunnels until they rot. This makes the soil healthy. Oh, so we need this work that worms do pulling the leaves underneath the soil for rotting because it makes our soil healthy. Wow. All right. Our second section today is called moving. So it's about how worms move. It says, Worms have strong muscles to help them move. There are ring-shaped muscles inside each segment. So we learned that last week, all these little circles that we see going around its body, all the way around our segments, and they have muscles inside each segment. Hmm. These make their body shrink or spread out. Other muscles run along their body and make it grow short, and then long. A worm's damp body helps it move easily through the soil. And so that's why it's damp. A worm's bristles are very important. Do you remember the bristles? Like we talked about the bristles on your toothbrush, the hard sticky up parts that brush your teeth. Well, they have bristles sticking out. Hmm. A worm's bristles are very important in helping it move. The worm digs its bristles into the soil to anchor itself. Oh, an anchor. So when I drop the anchor on our boat, it holds our boat in place. So a worm puts its bristles into the soil to anchor it, to hold it in place. Hmm. Here's the caption for this picture right here. It says, a worm moves by pointing its head in the direction it wants to go. Oh, so it wants to go in that direction. Okay. It anchors the back of its body and the head end becomes thicker. Oh, so right here in this section, it is thicker. Look at that. Okay, then let's see what happens second. The worm then stretches its body to push through the soil. It anchors the front of its body and brings up its tail. So now look, now the front of its body is thinner. See here it was thicker. Here it's thinner and it's pulling the back end along. So first it anchors the rear end, and then it pulls it along as it anchors the front end. Hmm. All about moving. So those are the two sections that we are reading today about feeding and moving with earthworms. So again, here's your assignment today. Draw a picture and write a sentence of something new 
you learned in our book, Earthworms. Good work.